Microsoft wants to give you one account to rule them all. And by all, I mean Xbox and Windows. So let's talk about what Game Pass gives gamers. And we'll also talk about if it's a good value. I also want to talk about some of the perks because I think they're pretty solid. Ultimate isn't going to be the right choice for everyone. Now, while I'm talking about Game Pass, I'm also including Xbox Live Gold, which is the online service that hosts multiplayer and online access. But what's the difference? Game Pass is like an all you can eat buffet of gaming where gamers get access to dozens of games. Think of the Bethesda acquisition, which is a lot of games or Activision Blizzard, which is ongoing. For gamers that want to try games before they buy or just love to consume all the latest titles and play some of the lesser known ones too, Xbox Game Pass is a really good solution. Xbox Live Gold is the ability to play online. So if you don't want to eat at the buffet because you're just a one or two game type player, then just Xbox Live Gold is good for you. If you want both? Consider getting Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, that's 15 bucks a month instead of the combined 20 bucks a month. Free to play games don't need this online access. Now Xbox is looking good by focusing on gamers and giving them the best value in gaming. Xbox Live Gold is 10 bucks a month, and includes two free games to play every month, access to a multiplayer network, and potential savings on digital purchases. Xbox Game Pass for the console is 10 bucks a month and includes over 100 console based games and access to Microsoft. Game Studios day one releases, and there's also savings on digital purchases. Xbox Game Pass for PC is nearly identical, but also includes access to the EA Play membership on the PC, which includes a ton of great games like Dragon Age and Mass Effect series and the previous year's sports games such as Madden, Golf, NHL, and MMA. Usually stay away from those. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is literally everything we just talked about, as well as some additional perks. Uh, there's save to the cloud and sync save across your different consoles and PCs. You have access to Xbox Cloud Gaming and free in-game content, all for 15 bucks a month. Now, unfortunately, Game Pass Ultimate doesn't allow annual plan purchasing, but auto renews at the monthly price unless canceled through the Microsoft account, not the Xbox One. They can't make it easy, can they? To be absolutely clear, Xbox Live Gold is included only in Game Pass Ultimate, but again, it has games available on the PC, the phones and tablets, and through the cloud gaming beta and consoles. That's a lot of places to play games. I personally go through and get time cards through sales. I've been able to get a year of Game Pass Ultimate for about 44 to 50 bucks by waiting on one of these good sales with a reputable site. Otherwise, I'd be paying the full price of 180 bucks a year, which is not cool. That being said, 90 day Xbox Live Gold card gives 50 days of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. There are new games added fairly often, which include the Xbox Game Studios day one releases. I played Halo Infinite day one on both my Xbox and my PC, something that wouldn't have been possible on PlayStation and how PS Plus is modeled. As a gamer dad who has a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, a Nintendo Switch, and a gaming PC, I have a lot of experience with the subscription services and I'm really happy with what I get through my Game Pass Ultimate service. There is a massive variety of games available and that goes from Minecraft Dungeons to Forza with Cars and Gears of War and Halo. It's still pretty nice to get free packs if you happen to play those games. There's also discounts for Game Pass library games and there's also the add-ons as well. So 20% off the games and 10% off of their respective add-ons. And remember that Xbox Cloud Gaming I mentioned? It's still in beta, for a really good reason. I've done some testing and it leaves a lot to be desired. There's some bad issues with it. There's latency, there's throughput when streaming the games, the graphic quality in general, just it needs more throughput. There are even plans to include a web browser version in the future if they can get that throughput to fix. And that's a lot of functionality. I think it's pretty cool in the future. Another feature in beta right now, specifically in Brazil and Ireland, is the family plan for Xbox Game Pass. This seems like a no brainer in 2022 and beyond. Literally every other subscription service besides gaming has a family plan. Amazon, Netflix, Disney Plus, Spotify, they all have family plans. I don't know why the gaming brands are so far behind, but at least Microsoft is moving to catch up. Okay, yes, Nintendo has a family plan, but their online features are paltry compared to like PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live and Game Pass. So what do I personally think about Game Pass? I think it's a pretty cool option for those that want to play a wide variety of games. As a kid, I played a ton of games trying to figure out what it was that I really liked the best before getting hooked on like my small core group of games. That being said, I still love a variety of games that it offers. And since I found some really good deals on memberships, I usually get a year of Xbox Live Ultimate for the cost of one full price game. That means that I'm getting access to hundreds of titles that I can pick up and put down and it's not costing me as much as one game. I would say that Game Pass Ultimate is worth it, even if the PC portion of the Game Pass isn't taken advantage of. Although the free EA Play is on PC and not on console, that's unfortunate, 
but not everyone wants to do that. So if you're more inclined to play online multiplayer with your friends or let your kids play online without access to a huge catalog, Xbox Live is a good, easy choice for that. Uh, Game Pass PC is pretty cool. I've played quite a few games, including Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxies for free on my PC. Normally that would cost me at least 30 bucks, even on sale. These games are good when they run properly on PC, which Microsoft is making sure they do, they're really good. There is the last option, which is none of the above, but that's not really why you're here, is it? Well, while you're here, why don't you hit the like button and let YouTube know that this video was helpful when it came to understanding the weird tiers and layering of Xbox Live and Game Pass. And don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can know when the next video is uploaded to help us make better informed choices for gaming and for those that are lucky enough, being gaming parents. Remember when I said I have all the current consoles and a PC, I'm comparing their online subscription services and I think the next video will help you pick and choose the right subscription service for your gaming family. And that's gonna be right here, here. It's gonna be here. This is Wes from Ritter Gaming. Do good, play hard, game one, and I'll see you next time.